this should do. How do you feel? Oh, can't complain. After all, there's a cozy tree in my back. But I promise, this will be the last fire. After tonight, it won't be trees anymore, but walls and a roof. In Shiring, I will find a job. What if the bishop wants to hire you for life? To keep his palace in shape, but maybe strengthen the town's defenses? Plain things, Tom Builder. Just walls and roofs. There. Took me a lifetime to find some dry ones in this wet. Why didn't we just use your staff? That old thing would have done nicely. Because that thing is precious. It's not made to burn. And we might be able to sell it. Right, now let's see if this does the trick. Martha, if you want to cut up some turnips, we'll be making soup. Mm, if it helps. Alfred, you go and look for water. We could just eat snow. No, it'll be proper water for my family. You sit, I'll take care of it. You still haven't answered my question, Tom Builder. What if the bishop offered you a job like they did in Exeter? Something that is beneath your craft, but pays for a lifetime. Easy work. Well, building something is never easy. You know what I mean. After Exeter, you said I could create something that matters. Something that stands for eternity. Or I could die setting up houses and sheds. But what if houses and sheds would feed your family? Would you stay this time? Or would you keep on looking? You know I could do so much more. You said the same thing then, and look where it brought us. Just promise me you'll think about it. Maybe we can sell the baby. Alfred! I'm joking. Don't listen to me. Oh, stupid snow. Why did it have to come down just now? Should never have left. Well, we're here now. Guess there's no use complaining. Too hard for my fist, but my pot should break it. <sighs> Houses and sheds. <laughs> Walls and roofs. I could do so much better. But I have to feed my family.
shoe. Beautiful. And um, did you think about what I asked you? I might never build a cathedral. Is that so bad? Why is a cathedral so special? Well, you've seen a few. You should know. Yes, but there are so many already. Why do you have to build another one? Is it because God needs more houses? <laughs> May I? If you must. Well. Actually, a cathedral isn't so different from any other house. It always starts simple, with some walls. And on top of that, you put a roof. Very good. A roof to keep off the rain, and walls to keep up the roof. Together that makes one big, long, but dark room. Like a cave. <laughs> Now, we mustn't forget the doors. And not only doors, but a big and impressive one to let in as many people as possible. But isn't it still dark in there? It is. So, what do you suggest? Windows, of course. Right. So the people inside can see what they're doing. By now, we've carved quite a few holes in our cathedral. Unfortunately, not every building can carry a roof like that, and have so many windows. So, what do we do? Good and solid work. That's what we do. If we don't want our cave to collapse, we have to make everything perfect. Not only strong, but consistent and perfectly even. The walls, the roof, the windows, everything perfectly proportioned. You shouldn't say big words like proportion when talking to a child. What does it mean? It means beauty. Well, it means not only will it keep them dry, it will give them hope. Like this? <laughs> Mama.